back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I got this tropical inspired winged cut crease. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I'm gonna start off priming my eyes using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number four. I'm gonna spread this all across my eyelid and just kind of buff it in using a fluffier brush to make sure the product is nice and evenly distributed. I'm also gonna use this to carve underneath my brow to kind of create that shape for when I do my brows later on. So once my eyes are primed, I'm gonna go ahead and start moving into shadows. The first color I'm using is from Color Green and this one is in the shade Drip Drop. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this into the crease using a Morphe M506. The way I'm applying the shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and create a winged shape so that way it kind of creates a guide for when I go ahead and cut my crease. Before I move into my next shadow, I'm gonna use a little bit of Fenty Beauty's blotting powder and add that to the base above that last shade that I just applied. So that way when I go into my next shadow, which is gonna be like our last transition color, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to get that really smooth blend that I like on the outer edge. Then to blend out that blue, I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35M palette and take that lime green shadow and start blending out the edges. I'm gonna use a clean Morphe M506 brush and I'm just gonna make sure to really work the color in so I have a nice smooth blend between the two shades. And to deepen up the crease, I'm gonna go into another color green eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Yacht Life. I'm gonna start applying this into the crease using a Morphe M507. This brush is slightly more tapered and more pointy than the, than the Morphe M506. So it's really great if you're looking for like a super defined crease shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing that color in and then go back in with the same brush that I used to apply Drip Drop and just go over Yacht Life to really make sure that there's no like harsh lines anywhere. Using a small amount of Lancome's Bi Facile Eye Makeup Remover, I'm gonna take some of that onto a Q-tip and start cleaning the lid space. I'm also gonna start kind of carving out my cut crease. I'm gonna be using a white base to create a liner in this area. So I don't want that white to blend in with the blue and change the color. I want it to be really, really white. So having that space clean is just gonna make it extra bright and make sure that there's no like colors blending into it. So for the first cut crease, I'm gonna be using the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Lift. This is just your basic white base. I love using this product because it dries down to a matte formula and it doesn't crack. So it's perfect if you're looking to create any type of liner looks. So I'm gonna use this first to cut my crease with a Sigma E58. This is my favorite brush to use for cut crease looks. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting my crease to create that liner. Once the product is applied, I'm gonna go in with some white eyeshadow and kind of set the product. It doesn't really need to be set, but I kind of wanted to go in with some white shadow anyways. So I'm just gonna dab some white eyeshadow and apply that directly onto the product using a small little shader brush. Then for the second cut crease, I'm gonna be using a mixture of three different bases. The two colored bases are from P. Louise in the shade Hint of Mint and Bang in Blue. The mint color I'm using in the middle of the lid, the darker blue I'm using on the outer part. Then for the inner part of the lid, I'm gonna be going back in with that rumor number four base. So now that we have those bases on, we wanna go ahead and set them using some shadow. I'm gonna go in with some of the colors that I applied on the crease onto the lid now. I'm gonna start off using Yacht Life and apply that onto the outer portion of our wing. And then I'm gonna go in with Drip Drop and apply that next to it. And as I'm applying these shadows on the lid, I'm making sure to really blend out in between those shades to kind of get a really smooth ombre effect. So 
So after I apply Drip Drop, I'm then gonna go in with a matte mint colored eyeshadow. This one's from Juvia's Place from their Zulu palette and I'm gonna apply that right next to it. So it should go kind of towards the center of the lid and I'm applying it using a fluffier brush to kind of get a really smooth finish. I notice that sometimes when I use a flat brush to pack on matte eyeshadows, it can be a little too much product. So using like a smaller fluffier brush gives you like more of like a smoother effect if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna go back in with that lime green and apply that onto the inner part of the lid. And as I go in, I'm using smaller and smaller brushes just to make sure I don't mess up the liner that we did before. Then to really brighten up the inner lid, I'm gonna go in with some neon pigments from Mayo Makeup. I'm using their ultra bright yellow and ultra bright green. I'm gonna apply that just on the inner part, kind of closer towards the inner corner of the eye. Then going back in with that color fix from Danessa Myricks, I'm gonna use that to create another line going from the outer corner of the eye and kind of connecting it to the liner right above it. And I'm packing that color on. I'm also gonna go back in with that white eyeshadow and add that right on top to set it and then clean up the line using a makeup wipe, then clean it up even more using a little bit of the P. Louise base, again in the shade rumor number four. Then before I go into lashes, I'm gonna add a bit of mascara to my top lashes just to prep for them so they blend in a lot more seamlessly into the falsies. Then the false lashes that I'm using are from Color Green. This came in the Safari collection. These are the Glamazon lashes. And I'm gonna apply those using a pair of tweezers, pop those babies on, and then just press them together with my natural lashes using a pair of lash curlers. I was really loving the way my skin turned out after this look, so I'm super excited to get into skin. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and I'm gonna apply that using a duo fiber brush and just spread that all over the skin to prep for foundation. I'm also gonna add a little bit of liquid glow. This one's from OPV Beauty, and I'm gonna apply this onto all the high points of the face to kind of give the skin a little bit more of that extra glow underneath my foundation. So with my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and dot this on wherever I want a little bit of extra glow and just make sure to really blend it well into the skin. Then for foundation today, I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. So this is in the shade Amber. I'm using a flat brush to apply this first. Then I'm gonna go in with a denser brush just to kind of give it an extra blend to make sure it really is like pressed into the skin. I totally forgot how much I love this foundation. I just picked it back up recently. I hadn't had it in like my kit or collection for a while. And I really, really love this foundation. The coverage is amazing. I also picked up the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Conceal concealer along with the foundation. And the concealer is also bomb. I'm gonna use that to highlight all the high points as well. So I'm gonna apply that onto the under eyes, along the sides of my mouth, my chin, Cupid's bow and nose, and then just blend it out using a smaller concealer brush. And also go back in with that same brush that I used to buff out my foundation. And just kind of go over the edges just to make sure there's no lines of demarcation between the concealer and the foundation. Thank you. 
Next, we wanna go ahead and set our concealer. So I'm gonna be using the setting powder from Pretty Vulgar. I got this one a couple months back in a boxy charm, and I really enjoy this powder. It has like a really nice like velvety feel to it. It's very weightless. It doesn't feel like I have like a ton of powder on my face when I'm wearing it. So I'm gonna use that to set all the areas that I applied my concealer and just really make sure to use a very small amount at a time. So that way I'm not over powdering. Then to give the under eyes a little bit of extra color and brightness, I'm gonna use a little bit of Max Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden and kind of focus that powder more so towards the inner part of the eye because that's where I mostly want all the brightness to be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some color back into my skin. We're looking a little washed out, we're looking a little pale. So I wanna go ahead and start bronzing up the skin. I'm gonna be using this new Cover FX Face Palette in the shade Medium Deep and using the contouring color from the palette, I'm gonna use that to start warming up the skin. I'm applying this on all the areas where I would typically apply bronzer as usual. So cheekbones, along the hairline, and a little bit on the nose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the eyes. I wanna start smoking out that lower lash line. I'm pretty much using all the colors that I use on the crease onto the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with Drip Drop first, and then I'm gonna use that lime green shade from the Morphe 35M palette to blend it out, and then use Yacht Life, which is that deep navy shade to get really, really close to the lashes and create that extra depth. to add some liner to the waterline. This, I believe, is the shade LSD from Urban Decay. And yeah, I'm just gonna pop that into the to the waterline. It has a bit of sparkle to it. It's a super cute, like deep navy blue liner. So I thought it would go perfect with the eyes. I've been really wanting to try a different brow product, so I ended up picking up the Urban Decay Brow Blade because it just seems like a really cool product. When I saw it like posted on Trend Mood and everything, I was really interested in it, but I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but pretty much what I did for my brows is I used the pen side of this product to kind of create little hair strokes on the inner part of my brow. And then for the outer portion of my brow, I used the pencil part to um, fill in like the rest of it. Um, I do want to give like the pen side a few more tries because I thought it, the color would come off a little bit more pigmented than it did. Um, so I'm thinking about giving it an extra try, but so far I'm sticking, probably gonna stick to my Anastasia Dip Brow Homemade. Oh, I've been really wanting to try something new, but I don't know. I feel like I'm that type of person where once I find something that I like, it's really hard for me to like switch over. Then to mold all those powders into my skin, I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the Orange Blossom and Sage one, and my gosh, does this smell good. Ooh, it smells so good. If you guys haven't tried this fragrance or this scent yet, definitely give it a try. I love the Mario Badescu Facial Sprays. They're amazing. They just feel so good against the skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my highlights. I'm using a new product from Lancome. I believe this came out with their spring collection. It's a, I'm not really entirely sure 
exactly what this product is. So I'm gonna make sure to put like the name of it down below in the description box, but it is, does have like a highlighting quality to it. So I just used it to highlight my skin today. And um, I do love the way it looks. It has like definitely more of like a natural type of finish, but you guys know me. I love like a beaming, like pop and highlight. So I also went in with the Cover FX Glitter Drops and this one is in the shade Nova. So I'm just gonna add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that onto the highest point of my cheekbone and the bridge of my nose just to give a little bit of extra like bling to the highlight. Then moving on to lips, you guessed it, we're doing a nude glossy one. Nude glossy lips are like my thing. So to line my lips, I'm first gonna go in with a MAC lip liner. This one is in the shade Chestnut. Then to fill in my lips, I'm gonna be using two different liquid lipsticks today from Anastasia. I'm using a mixture of Starfish and Naked. I'm gonna apply those onto my lips first and just kind of dab them and blend them into the lip liner using my finger. And for gloss, I'm gonna be using one from JD Glow Cosmetics. I can't remember the name, but I'll, again, I'll put it down below in the description box. almost forgot to do an inner corner highlight. I used a matte white eyeshadow, the same white eyeshadow that I used to set like my white liner and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this makeup look, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more makeup tutorials. I can't believe we're almost like 200K strong. You guys are amazing. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching guys and hopefully I will see you in the next one.